All right, guys, you guys know how we do it. You got to stay consistent to get to the goals that you want and uh, get here early. That way you guys can uh, do what you got to do. So you guys are here with me now as I normally would come in. You guys see what time it is, 5.50 a.m. I take it serious and uh, that's why this channel was created to show you guys how it could be done if you're interested in taking it to the next level. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the compressors, turn the lights on, there's nobody here. And uh, we're gonna get rolling. We got a big day ahead of us and uh, you guys are gonna be here with me to uh, get it done. So I wanted to get a little motivation going back on the channel. Showtime. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're here early and uh, this is the normal time that I get to work, six o'clock and I'm already, everything's primed from the night before, that way I can get rolling. So we got a big day ahead of us. We got to unwrap one in the booth and uh, we're gonna get rolling here early with you guys for the first time here at the new shop, coming in early with me, showing you my day of how it starts out. So we've already got one in the booth from last night. We're gonna go ahead and unwrap this one and uh, we're gonna get rolling and we got a load here of big jobs. So we're gonna see what we can do today together on this uh, day to see how much we can get done. And you guys know that consistency is the key. So I have a goal that I set every day of how many hours I wanna turn and that's what I do. So that's the way you guys should do it too. Get a number that you guys feel comfortable with that sets you uh, up to have a nice week and uh, try to hit that goal daily. That way at the end of the week, you're not worrying about how many hours you have. So every night, check your hours, check them in the morning, see what you need to get done to, to make your week uh, good for you. So I have a number that I go with and uh, I like that number. So let's go ahead and get this day started. And uh, this is just a day that we're gonna just hang together and get some work done. So let's do it. Now we'll hit it with the DA, with uh, 400 DA, and run over the whole panel and get this thing finished up for the uh, booth. Then we're hitting them with the uh, 400 on these Merca pads. These are the ones I showed you guys a while back. But they really work good. The Nova Star 400 from Merca. I'll put this on the Scotch Brite. And I'll go in here now and we'll catch all our edges. Make sure we scuff it good. And I like these because you can get around corners and they get nicely inside these different crevices and stuff like that. So definitely uh, like these little 400. I used to use these only on the blends with the uh, 600 from uh, Kovacs, but I do like the 400 because you can go on the primer with it get it up into these areas here like this where it's hard to get into all right the outside is fully sanded and now i'm going to go inside here and hit all my welds you guys know we do the inside as well as the outside to make sure that it's treated on all our resistance welded and everything is treated now where it needs to be we paint the inside of the quarters and everything before they go on the vehicle so this one's all treated and now we'll uh finish it up and get it in the booth. All right, so we scuffed down this little piece here with the gray, the corner uh, filler piece for that quarter panel, and then we have a blend. So we'll hit this, we'll clean it, scuff it, 
Then we'll hit it with our 800 and we'll be loading this up in the booth. All right, so we got the booth loaded up and we're packed in here really good. We've got two jobs and then we've got also uh, a hood that's in here. This hood here is off of this Range Rover, but we took it off because it has the uh, black on top and then the white hood. So I want to keep it away from each other with the colors. And then we have our blend door over there, but we're going to wipe everything down now and start rolling. So this is the first load of the day. It's a big load. We're going to clean everything and then we're going to move on and we're going to prep out our next load. We're going to do two giant loads today and uh, show you how I do it. So let's go ahead and clean these uh, parts. This here, we're going to use the uh, alcohol cleaner on. It's the SX103 in the PPG, and this is our uh, static free alcohol wipe. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we'll wipe down our regular parts with our regular prep saw. That's the SX330. All right, we're all clean, we're ready to go. I'm gonna shoot this load, show it to you finished up, because you guys know what I do normally in all my videos. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot this one. I'll show it to you done. We got this roof up here. And then the rest of this stuff in here now. We'll shoot this stuff, we'll show it to you done, and then we'll head back out here and we're gonna prep out some of these other jobs we have. And then we'll show you those done. We got a plaid here to shoot, and I'm gonna shoot one more with this one. I'm still deciding between two jobs I got, which one I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead and shoot that, and then we'll get these done. All right, so all the base is on all the parts and on the vehicles in there, we got all our base, and we'll go ahead and clear this. And while we're doing that, we're gonna be getting ready to start on our next uh, cars we're gonna be doing here. We got this Altima. We're gonna do a blend on the hood and a blend on the door. We've got a new fender and a new bumper. And the reason we're gonna pull the parts on this one is that way the body man can continue on with his part of the job here. He's gotta put this upper bracket in. So while I'm painting this, he'll be doing that and we'll keep the job moving through the shop. And then we'll be shooting this Tesla here with it and filling up that booth. So we got a prime, we got this prime bumper here. We went ahead and sanded out all the bug damage on it, primed the whole complete bumper. And then we got this raw one for that one. So we'll start prepping this out in a minute. Let me go ahead and clear that job. But before we clear that, I need the little bit of fuel. So we're gonna head and eat. And I got this nice salad that the old lady uh, made for me this morning. So I bring my lunch every day. That way I don't have to leave and uh, slow things up here. I'd rather eat here and then just continue working. So we're gonna eat quick and then we'll be in there and clearing that one. All right, so that load's done. We're gonna go ahead and bake it and then we'll be prepping out these jobs now. All right, so let's get prepping.
All right, we got it all ready to go. We wiped it down, bagged it, and uh, everything's prepped out and ready. So this is our last load here of the day. And we've been humping along pretty good here to get this done. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot this one. And then I'll show it to you guys finished up. And then we got a little bit of primer and you guys are here with me today, hanging out with me and I'm showing you how I do it, so. All right guys, so I'm gonna clear the job, but my GoPro battery is dying out. You guys can see it's all based out and ready to go. So that's the day in the life of the candy man. And I like to stay consistent and push, push, push all day long to uh, get to my goals. So I just wanted to show you guys what I do on a day to day. And uh, it's about six o'clock right now and I'm gonna be finishing up here.